Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Plant Fanatics. Today we're going to be talking about what to look for when you're buying a new plant from a nursery, so stay tuned. The first thing that you're going to want to look for when you're buying a new plant is look for nice, green, healthy leaves. You don't want them to be misshapen in any way. You don't want them to have any browning on them or any yellowing on the leaves, which is what we call chlorosis, which is typically because of a nutrient deficiency. And if you're buying a new plant, you want the nursery to do their due diligence and make sure that those leaves are nice and healthy and taken care of and not lacking in any way. The second thing that you're gonna to wanna to look for is to make sure that there's no bugs or pests crawling on the bark or leaves of the tree. And the easiest way to do this is just to get right close up to the plant and just examine it. It's very easy if you're looking at a plant and you see it has nice leaves, it looks like everything's healthy on it, but you don't look closely to miss those pests. And I know it seems like you're buying a new plant from somebody who knows what they're doing, like a nursery, but I've bought plants from nurseries before, uh, nurseries that I respected and got home, I didn't look the plant over, I didn't do my due, my due diligence, and I came back home and there were pests all over it. They ended up spreading to some of my other plants and it just became a way bigger issue than it needed to be if I had just bought a healthy plant in the first place. So you definitely wanna look and make sure there's no pests on the plant. The third thing that you're gonna to wanna to look at when you're buying a new plant is for a healthy graft union. Now a graft union is where they took two different pieces of plants and put them together through basically for what is a surgery on a plant and I'll show you a picture of what that looks like right now. But basically, you wanna make sure that the plant is, does not seem to be decaying in any way at that graft union, and that everything looks like it's growing nice and healthy. And I'll show you what a healthy graft union looks like as compared to a bad graft union. But that's something that you're definitely gonna to wanna to take a look at. And typically, grafting is gonna take place on fruit trees, but it can happen with other things too, like sometimes they graft roses onto an, a different rootstock to make it turn into a tree instead of a bush. So just make sure that it has a nice, healthy graft union. The next thing that you wanna look for when buying a new plant is to make sure that the plant has a healthy root system. If the plant is small enough, you can typically do this just by picking up the plant and looking under and making sure that there's some root growth going on down there. You also don't want the roots to be too root bound, which is basically where they've been growing in the same pot for too long. This can sometimes cause issues, especially with things like fruit trees. But this isn't necessarily gonna be as easy as the other things to check because you don't wanna walk around the nursery constantly pulling the plants out of pots. But just do your due diligence, look around the plant a little bit, see if you can see some healthy roots growing. And if you can, that means that the plant is probably good to go. And the last thing that you're gonna to wanna to look at and think about is where are you going to be putting this plant? Are you gonna be putting this plant outside or are you gonna be having it in a pot inside of your house? And so depending on what your plans are, you're gonna to wanna to look at the plant's hardiness zone and you're gonna to wanna to know what your local hardiness zone is to make sure that the plant can even grow outside where you are. Uh, typically you can figure out what your hardiness zone is by simply typing in your city and your state in Google followed by hardiness zone and then it should pop right up and tell you what hardiness zone you are. And I would look for a plant that can at least uh, match up with your hardiness zone or even take colder zones. So that's definitely something that's gonna be important if you plan on putting a tree outside and not just a tree, any plant for that matter. But hardiness zone can pretty much go for any plant that you're buying. You have to make sure that the plant can take it wherever you're gonna plant it, can take the temperatures wherever you're gonna plant it. Usually you can just avoid all of that by saying to a nurseryman, hey, I'm planting a garden outside. Can you show me plants that will survive outside where we live? And they should be able to take you right over to there. But if they're not able to do that, then I would just look at the tags and typically it's gonna tell you what planting zones they're good for. So that's gonna be the top things that I suggest that you look at whenever you're buying a new plant. Always remember that just because you're buying a plant from a nursery doesn't mean they, they did their due diligence in making sure that that plant was healthy before you took it home. So just make sure you know what you're looking for so that way you don't get taken advantage of in any way and you can buy a nice healthy plant that's going to give you joy for years. Thanks so much for watching this video guys. 
If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and share it with any of your friends. And if you have any other tips for people when buying new plants, please leave them in the comments so everybody can see it. And thanks so much for watching the video.